In this tutorial I'm going to show you uh, how, to ex uh, how to import a movie and uh, to use cue points to actually make, make the movie go wherever you want. Uh, if I can show you, this is my embedded movie and if I'm going to test it If I'm going to test the movie, uh, you will see actually that this is my navigation bar and I, I have this seeker which I can move uh, to a certain part of my movie. So if I use this forward, you see it jumped right right in here and another one jumped in into this area and the reason for that is because I used the cue points to specify this specific area uh, when I press the forward button it will go to this area and to that area and I will show you how to accomplish it using the import movie command. So when we start another file, so let's just delete it. I'm going to import the movie to stage. And when I import the movie, he asks me, for example, is this is this the path is this the path for your movie and I'm just I'm just clicking next yeah this is it and I want it to be stream from communication server and just click next and this uh, that's actually that's the interesting part you see here I've got my movie and uh, I can see it like run through that and I can start my movie from this point and end it in this point so let's just leave it intact uh, I want to concentrate on the advanced settings and in the advanced settings there are my cue points which means because of the small area just a little bit hard so let's just take this uh, scroller and uh, basically let, let, let's just leave it right here and I'm going to add a cue point which is going to be a navigation and I'm going to name it start okay this this is our start and as you can see in the movie and um, in this preview small window I'm going to drag this bar all the way over here and here I'm going to mark my second uh, cue point which is also going to be a navigation and this is going to be part one right let's head forward uh, for example that is going to be part two and so forward for example that is going to be part three and let's end it right here that's going to be end the end so basically I've marked I've set my cue points when I pressed part 1 you see that it refers to this area of the movie when I press part 3 it refers to this area in the movie and now I go ahead and click next uh, you can pick you can pick a skin which you like and right right now I'm going to hit ca cancel because I don't want to waste valuable time I've already imported uh, this movie and the result as you can see this is my embedded movie and when I'm going to test the movie uh, I put some action script and as you can see if I stop the movie um, just I don't want it to play uh, you don't really need to stop it but when I press the forward button 
it brings me right into my second Q point, to my first Q point, to my second Q point, to my third Q point, and to the end of it. So basically, that's it. This is the first part in the in the next part I'm going to show you how to create a navigation bar which enables you to just go uh, go to whatever cue point you set and just create an interactive menu bar so thank you for watching I hope that you got this tutorial and I'll create part 2 soon